Michelle Salmon, Brisbane resident. Um, I don't want you to certify the ARR, and I don't want you to approve the developer's plan. And my objection isn't because Brisbane's character might change. I've lived through many changes. I've lived here all my life. My mother lived here all of her life. And if things didn't change, life wouldn't go on. But the real objection to housing isn't the growth of Brisbane. It's the inadequacy of the environmental impact review and the lack of actual cleanup plans and closure of the landfill. Yes or no, maybe, not negotiable. Even one housing unit shifts the burden of infrastructure to the public, and that's where the real money lies for the developer. We've talked a lot about the regional welfare doctrine and our regional responsibilities. And if you are looking at regional responsibilities, you should be looking at the regional benefits that that area could give us in terms of energy production, high-speed rail, and what could affect us at a more intrinsic level than being able to go to zero waste right there at Recology. And I just feel that going out and building more housing isn't going to solve the housing crisis at all. We have a housing crisis, we have a population crisis is what we really have. And San Francisco tried to address it many years ago back in the 80s they had something called the St. Francis Housing Authority where when they built these big buildings those buildings had to contribute to public housing projects. San Francisco took the money but I sure didn't see the public housing projects from that funding that they got. And it continues. I mean, you talk about a bi-county um, or a multiple county, sorry, um, priority development area, but look at the Salesforce Tower. Where's the housing from San Francisco for that? And even on this project, if you just look at the developer's plan, they're talking a mere 4,400 and something units of housing against 8 to 12 million square feet of commercial space, whatever kind of commercial space that is. Well, that's oh, right up there with that ratio that people were talking about, about one housing unit to every eight jobs. You think this is going to be any better? Do you think this is going to address the problem? No. What this does is shift the burden to the public for the infrastructure for the developer. Follow the money people. I was so so disappointed at one of these last meetings when all the housing advocates came and Greenbelt Alliance stood up and endorsed the developer's plan and I asked the young man who spoke oh you know how much did they pay you to do that? oh I don't know they didn't pay it well I went and looked up their financial report and guess what yes they did they had they had a fundraiser for this for the Greenbelt Alliance and they're also a major contributor and about a fifth of the annual budget comes from the San Francisco Housing Action Coalition and their 300 members who aren't people, they're developers. So let's just really be clear about who is populating this room here. And, and the developer has really done their job to bring out and try to make you feel guilty. And you know what? We shouldn't squander this property. We should put it to the highest and best use. And we should work on solutions for our challenges. And we should look at the consequences for our kids your kids, their kids, whoever kids. You know, Jerry Hill's office is completely right. This is a rare and important opportunity to do the right thing for future generations. Do you think the right thing for future generations is to add another drop in the bucket of, the, of housing? Or is it to do renewable energy, water conservation, <sighs> zero waste, you get the picture. So you want to do something rare and important, do it, uh, take the opportunity to do something for the public, have the courage to stand up against all of these paid housing advocates, all the me, 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 I want, I want, I want, and do something that really will benefit not just one future generation, but multiple future generations.